ministers and deputy ministers who have successfully gone through vetting and been approved by parliament, I have very great expectations as I swear you in today to become members of my administration. You need to fully apply your knowledge, skills and expertise to support me in delivering on the promises that I have made to our people. And we believe you have what it takes to do the job. Indeed, you will be leading your various ministries on my behalf, and I expect you to do so diligently, efficiently, with humility, and with modesty. The clock that we hear is different from the clock the civil servants hear. Our clock is a four-year clock based on the mandate given to us by the people of Ghana. The clock the civil servant here is the clock thinking in respect of their retiring age of 60 years. They are therefore not as much in a hurry as you are. Ministers will come and go, but the civil servants remain. You'll be successful only if you form a team with them and let them also respond to the same four-year clock that you are listening to. There's urgency to ensure that government continues to create favorable conditions for Ghanaians to thrive and flourish. I charge you to avoid any divisive, corrupt, and disgraceful tendencies and practices. Serve our people and sacrifice for them. I want you all to bear in mind your responsibilities to our good people of Ghana. There are urgent needs that have to be met. Our people are tired of listening to fine talk. What they want to see is the deliverables that will make their lives better. I therefore call on each of you to hit the ground running with no time to waste and conduct all your duties responsibly with the best interest of the nation's taxpayers at heart. Leaning on God for his help and guidance, I entreat you to work hard and give Mother Ghana your very best. I thank you, may God bless you, and bless our homeland Ghana.